there's only one you. There's there's never been you before. You are the first you. You might be identical to your dad. You might be identical to your granddad. You know, you might have kids that are identical to you from the standpoint of look. But even if they have a similar look, they are not you. What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D, Mr. Double Down on You, your favorite personal development coach with another episode of Black Fathers Now. And you know what? Today's episode, man, I want to throw something out there that um, I don't know if you've ever heard, but I'm going to throw something out there that I want you to listen to and I want you to meditate on it. But then I want you to really, really, really take a step back and think about value. Do you know that you, yeah, I'm talking to you. Do you know that you have a movie in your life every day? Do you know that you have a movie in your life every day? If you're really honest about it and you're really, really, really reflective If you look back on today or if it's early in the morning in which you're listening to this yesterday, you could literally take about an hour to an hour and a half snapshot of your day at some point and create a movie out of it. I know I know you're probably like, dude, come on, man, my life is not that interesting. Hold up. Take a pause. You think your life's not that interesting. But a lot of times it takes someone from the outside to understand and recognize the value that you bring to the table before you finally realize how valuable you are. And a lot of us take life for granted because we don't look in the mirror and see the value that we bring to the world. So like I mentioned, everyone, everyone listening to this, Every day of your life, you have at least an hour to an hour and a half of your life on that specific day. And I'm talking about today as well. That could be a movie script. So so what do I mean by that? So, yes, some people live wild and crazy lives and super, super high highs and super, super low lows. And, you know, those things are interesting and compelling to others. Right. But guess what? There are movies made about someone's emotions. There are movies made about things that folks think about. There are movies made about, you know, somebody's day to day life and how they're approaching things that seem to be common, but they're approaching them in their own unique ways. See, the way that you live your life, the way that you operate day in and day out. There's a movie in that. And the reason I use the concept or I use the example of a movie or the metaphor of a movie is because when people think about a movie, they think about value. They think about something that other people want to observe. They think about something that other people want to pay for, i.e. something that is valuable. And the moment that you start looking at your life and realizing how valuable your life is, that's the moment that you start taking it seriously. That's the moment that you start to put things in place and to do things like it is a valuable asset. You know, if you take a really, really, really expensive car and then you take a beater, right? You take some, you know, a car that's barely running. That really, really, really expensive car gets washed all the time. That really expensive car gets parked in the valet. You know, it gets parked right up front. You know, you take care of it. You know, you're cleaning it out. If the kids spill something in it, as soon as you park, you're cleaning your car out. That beater, man, you don't care about that. 
you probably can't remember the last time it's been washed. I mean, you might not even remember the last time you got the oil changed. You don't care about it because you don't value it. But that thing that you value, you go above and beyond to maintain it, to make sure that it's working properly, but then also to make sure that it presents very, very well. So when you start thinking about your life and you start realizing that literally everybody listening to this has a movie script in their life on a daily basis, you start to approach your life as if your life has value. Because there's so many of us that just literally we kind of bum along and, you know, it's kind of ho-hum. There's no energy because we think that we're just, oh, we're just living this average, mediocre life that, you know, whatever. I'm not making any impact. But the reality is there's only one you. There's, there's never been you before. You are the first you. You might be identical to your dad. You might be identical to your granddad. You know, you might have kids that are identical to you from the standpoint of look. But even if they have a similar look, they are not you. Even if you have a twin sibling, they are not you. Because even if you all have similar experiences, your experiences on a day to day basis are not identical because you're two individual human beings. And that uniqueness is valuable. Your thoughts are valuable. Your perspectives are valuable. What you sit around and ponder about is valuable. Everything that you do in life is valuable. It's of value. The question is, do you recognize that value? See, that's kind of, that's the crux of the matter. Do you recognize that value? Other people see it. If you package it well, other people will see it. But do you recognize it? And the reason I want everyone to realize that you should approach your life as if your life is a movie. Your life is this valuable script that Hollywood wants to take to the masses. If you approached your life like that every day. Again, that's like the expensive car. You're going to take care of it. You're going to preserve it. You're going to make sure routine maintenance is done, but you're also going to make sure that you present well, right? You're going to do everything needed and or necessary to make sure that that valuable item is taken care of. And all I'm wanting you to do, fellas, is to realize that you are that valuable item. No matter how mundane, routine and, you know, average, and I'm using air quotes here, you, have, you feel like your life is you're valuable. And again, you can take a snapshot of probably any hour in your day and create a dynamic script or a movie script that could be beneficial to someone from an entertainment perspective. But we're not talking about being entertained. We're talking about recognizing value and you are valuable. So I want you to approach your day as if you are valuable, no matter how, you know, minimal you think you've been in the past scratch all of that look in the mirror today's a new day you are valuable let's go act like it because as you act like it your kids start to act like it because they see dad realizing his worth and kids don't always do what they're told but they will replicate or at least try to replicate what they see and let's help them to see a man walking with his head up, full of value, and recognizing that he brings value to the world. Because guess what? You do. All right? Well, hey, fellas, I hope all is well. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you've not already done so. Share this thing out, man. My request of you, like, again, listening to this podcast does not cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. But if you've gained value from this episode or one of the other ones, please share this thing out with 10 other brothers, man. That's how this thing grows. It's not about billions of people listening per se. It might not even be about millions of people, but if I can get the few thousand of you all that may listen to this episode to share this thing out with 10 of your friends, we grow, we grow. And the whole goal of Black Fathers Now is bringing the village to the brothers so that you can be the best version of who you are supposed to be. 
because the world needs the best version of you. The world needs that valuable you to show up. Because guess what? <laughs> We're not going to be our best if you're not your best. All right. Well, hey, as always, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.